In this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, various methods of uh, direct generation of FM. The first one is the vector diode modulator, whose junction capacitance varies linearly with the input message. We know that diode is a non-linear device, but we are saying that the capacitance of uh, the diode or vector diode, which is reverse biased, is varied linearly uh, with the uh, input or uh, uh, the applied voltage. So we can uh, write the circuit something like this. So uh, this is uh, the basic circuit of the vector diode modulator. So you can see that, that this one is basically the tuned circuit, like uh, the, uh, the oscillator. The, we can generate uh, uh, the frequency of the oscillator using that uh, circuit. So this one is the coupling capacitor, and this one is the vector diode. And we know that the vector diode is a reverse bias device. So this one is the, uh, the radio frequency choke. So, which is uh, like uh, using here uh, in order to tackle the hindrance from uh, the worst bias than the modulating signal. So, this one is the uh, blocking capacitor and uh, this is the transformer like uh, the primary and the secondary and the modulating signal is um, uh, uh, giving uh, input from uh, these two terminals like the sinusoidal or the cosinusoidal wave. So, like this type of this type of a message like positive and negative values. So the most important uh, thing uh, to understand in this circuit is the application of minus VB. So why minus VB? Because we know that uh, this diode should be reverse bias de uh, device. So if we apply this minus uh, to, so it will uh, follow the, that path. So the, going through the RFC and then uh, this diode will be a reverse bias. But the selection of minus VB should be such that the, uh, this condition should uh, fulfill, like the uh, amplitude of the negative of uh, VB should always be greater than the maximum value of the input message signal of the applied voltage. So this condition must satisfy in order to keep that diode uh, reverse biased. So, uh, if this diode is a reverse bias, so it, uh, the capacitance of that diode uh, will be going to uh, linearly vary in accordance to the modulating signal. So, it means that we can uh, say that, so this diode uh, is working like a variable capacitor C of T. So, if this cap uh, the capacitance of that diode is uh, varies linearly with the input message signal, so it means that we are going to generate uh, the FM signal directly using this circuit. The second diode, uh, the second method is the uh, reactance modulator. For the reactance modulator, we are using FET. So, the circuit of that is like this.
So this one is gate and that one is source and this is drain. So here it is modulating signal. So here uh, you you can select uh, uh, different uh, components. Either it is capacitors or inductors, or resistors, or in, uh, inductors or capacitors or uh, re resistors in combination. Like in this circuit, we are going to select a capacitor here, C, and a resistor R. So no doubt there will be a tuning circuit. Uh, in combination with this circuit, so that is the voltage here. So V G S. So the current is I G, and the current is I D, and that signal is a modulating uh, modulating signal. So it means that we need to uh, you know, fulfill and other conditions in this circuit. Like the first condition is that. The capacitance of the capacitor should be much bigger than the value of R. The second condition is that that IG should be much smaller than, like the gate crank should be much smaller than the source or uh, drain crank. So we can further analyze the circuit. Considering these two assumptions, these two uh, necessary conditions, so how can we analyze the circuit? Like we know that the value of the current is equal to voltage divided by the impedance. Like uh, following these conditions, IG much less than ID, so it means that these two components will be in series. Like the resistors is in series with the capacitance so we can write the impedance uh, like uh, so it means that z is the combination of r plus x c so so that is the combination r plus x c so x c is equal to 1 over j omega c so we can replace that here in this equation and we know that xc much bigger than so r so it means that r can be replaced so then the current can be equals to v divided by 1 divided by j omega c so which can be equals to V into J, V into J omega C, V into J omega C, and what is the value of the VG, VGS? Gain to source voltage, which is again the combination of the current multiplied by the resistance. So uh, you can use the value of the current here. The answer is V multiplied by J mega C and then multiplied by R. So second thing is that we need, uh, we know that uh, the uh, VGS is equals to V J mega C multiplied by R and uh, the uh, other component is the transconductance, the uh, transconductance of the FET, GM. So GM is basically the ratio of the current uh, to the voltage so like uh, the drain current to the uh, vgs gate to source voltage so like here we can say that okay gm is basically the ratio of the current to the voltage so uh, from ratio of the drain, drain current to the voltages or we can say that okay id id basically is equals to VGS multiplied by GM. So we know that this is VGS. So we can write this equation like this. So V into 
J into uh, G M. So the what is the value of what is the value of the uh, impedance? So we know that impedance is always equals to voltage multiplied by current. So voltage multiplied by current. So we can use this equation. There, and the answer is so V divided by V J mega C R G M. So that can be cancelled out. The remaining is one over J mega C. R C G M. So looking into this equation, so we can say that our equivalent capacitance is equal to like or we can say that our equivalent capacitance is equal to R C and then G M. So that is the equivalent capacitance in case of uh, the combination of the capacitor and uh, the resistance. So which one is the uh, circuit so uh, the, uh, like the tunable circuit? So we know that that is something like this. whose uh, frequency is CT and here CT is uh, we know that CT is basically uh, is equals to C plus C equivalent and we know that C equivalent is basically the combination of RC and GM. So if we want to write in order of the tau, so we know that the time constant in case of the capacitance and resistance is always equals to RC and then C equivalent in that case is equals to tau into GM. So that is the uh, equivalent capacitance equivalent capacitance of the capacitor but of course uh, we have other combinations like uh, here in this uh, we can have other combinations uh, other type of circuits like if we select the resistor the other part is same so in this case the condition is R should be much bigger than Xc. So this is R and then this one is C. In third case you can select inductor and resistor XL and then R. So in this case XL should be much bigger than R. In fourth case, you can have the combination of resistor and the inductor. So in this case, the condition is should be much bigger than LC. So in all the cases you can have uh, equivalent inductors or equivalent capacitors. Like in this case you have uh, inductive uh, circuit so L equivalent is equal to RC divided by GM and in term of time constant you can write tau divided by GM. So in this case you can write uh, inductive uh, so L equivalent is equals to L over R 
a to gm and we know that time constant in that case is l over r so which is equal to tau divided by gm and in this case it is a capacitive circuit so equivalent capacitance is equal to l over r multiplied by gm so your l over r is tau so that is equal to tau multiplied by gm so these are uh, uh, the different uh, circuits that you can use in order to directly generate uh, the fm signal either using the reactor diode or using the reactance modulator in combination of a uh, resistive component and the capacitive or the inductive component using all these combinations and you can analyze the equivalent capacitance using that method so uh, that's all uh, for today lecture i hope that you understand well the direct generation uh, method of the fm signals so if you have any question you are most welcome you can uh, write uh, in the comment box and uh, otherwise if you have any suggestions or any recommendations you are again most welcome so thank you for watching uh, our lecture